Hey guys, what's going on? It's Uncle Tone. How are you guys doing? Today I'm going to have my full review for you guys on the IOTI Macaron case for the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Um, this case is available for the iPhone 5 as well, so for those of you who have the iPhone 5 and don't have the Note 2 and you're watching this one, it is also available for the iPhone 5. Um, you can pick this one up over on IOTI's website. It's available for $29.95 in your choice of six different colors. Uh, the sky blue that I have here, as well as white, black, yellow, a magenta pink, and a mint green color. So, cool beans. There you go. Without further ado, let's crack it open and check it out. Inside the package, all you are going to get is the case itself. There are no extras included with the macaron case. Um, basically what we have here is a two-piece hybrid style case. Um, it is basically a TPU inner case and then on the outside on the back it has a polycarbonate back fused onto the back of the TPU. So you're getting kind of a hybrid style case, easy in and out of the pocket with the polycarbonate back, but you're still getting the impact protection of the TPU material, of which there is a fair bit on this phone, particularly around the edges. Now, the edges are quite thick. Let me go ahead, grab the Note 2, and we'll throw it in here. And I'll give you guys an idea what it looks like. To install it on the phone, you're simply going to go ahead and slip one side in, and then simply pop it up and over the other side. Once it's on, it is a fantastic fit. This is possibly one of the best fitting Note 2 cases that I have used thus far. Um, it fits really, really well. It's easy on and easy off, um, but it doesn't feel loose. It doesn't creak or anything like that. Once it's on, it fits really, really well. Moving up here to the top, you have a cutout for your my, uh, secondary microphone and your headphone jack. It is quite deep. Um, so if you're using like Beats by Dre style headphones or something, those aren't going to work. Um, however, a regular L-shaped jack like I have here on my Dunu i3CS headphones um, will work just fine. It's not super deep, but it is deep enough that like the Beats by Dre jack that only protrudes just a little bit, that's not going to work in here. But regular, you know, L-shaped jacks should work just fine. So there you go. Moving around here to the side, you have your power button. Uh, your sleep wake slash power button adds a nice amount of feedback to it. It feels really good when you press it. It takes away some of the too easiness to press of uh, the buttons on the Note 2. I have noticed the buttons on the Note 2 are almost a little bit too easy to press. Um, this kind of negates that and uh, makes them a little bit more firm to press, which I like because um, I accidentally sometimes hit the volume uh, buttons on my Note 2 fairly often. Um, this takes the volume rocker, splits it into two buttons with volume up and volume down. Both work really, really well. Feel exactly the same as the power button here on the other side. Nice firm feel. Um, not mushy, but nice and firm. There you go. Um, you do have a cutout for on the back for your speaker, your S Pen, which is easily accessible and your camera and LED flash. Um, didn't notice any issues with flashback or anything like that. Taking pictures with these seem to work just fine. It is also a very high gloss finish, uh, which makes it a little bit of a fingerprint magnet. But um, not really a big deal. Something to be aware of, though. Um, it does make it a little bit of a fingerprint magnet. Not really noticeable. On the lighter colors, like the sky blue I have here, but on the black, it would probably be more noticeable. So, there you go. Moving down here to the bottom, you have a cutout for your micro USB port. Nice and big. Just about any micro USB cable you might be using, whether it be the Samsung or a third-party cable, should work just fine and then a cutout here on the bottom for your microphone doesn't interfere with it at all still works perfectly fine i made a bunch of phone calls and everybody heard me just fine so no problems with that at all um, you do get a small amount of lay on the table with this one not very much but there is a tiny little lip there so if you're using a screen shield you should be able to go ahead and lay it down and not really worry about it um, like i said there's a very small amount of lay on the table there not a lot but there is a little bit. So there you go. And that's pretty much going to do it for my review on the IOTI Macaron case for the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Um, I love this case. It does add a little bit of width to the uh, Note 2, though, which is already fairly wide. Um, so if you have smaller hands and you're using a Note 2, this might not be the best choice for you. 
I have big hands, so I didn't really notice it being much of a problem for me. It still fits in my hand just fine. I don't have any trouble holding on to it, as you can see. But I do have very large hands. So there you go. If you have a smaller hands and you're using a Note 2, you might want to look for something a little bit more slim. So there you go. Cool beans. Thanks for watching. Um, I really like the Macaron case. It's one of the uh, coolest cases I have seen for the Note 2. There are not a lot of cases out yet like there are for the iPhone 5 and that sort of thing for the, for the Note 2. So this is one of the more unique and one of the more cool cases I have seen. So thanks to the very cool people over at iAudi for sending it over to me for review. I really do appreciate it. Thanks to you guys for watching. Don't forget to smash the like button down there if you found this video helpful. Maybe go ahead and favorite it. That definitely helps me out a lot. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Cool beans. Rock on.